it is 802 but i'm here i am here i am here i'm here i'm so sorry about the delay but it was it was it was literally i was studying i was studying i don't know if anybody not show up with a good little piece of hair um anybody still here i know it's 802 i'm so late not i'm a minute late <clears throat> situations beyond my control but uh i was studying I was studying and then and then a mother nature called and there it goes you know just have to be totally open and transparent about what it is but i'm here 802 and we still making it happen lgr meal preps hello 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 good morning good morning good morning everyone good morning uh fresh eyes fresh eyes good morning my brother good morning good morning good morning cancer slain Irene said good morning everybody michelle Says, good morning, everybody. I see the flowers. I'm sorry for my delay. I'm sorry for the delay. That's just a little delay. But we are here. We are here. And it's okay. Delay. Actually, it goes, honestly, it goes with the, um, it goes. I see the flowers. I see the flowers. It goes with, with, with what God was talking about this morning. Oh, Val, baby. Good morning from Delaware. Hey, Delaware. What? Delaware, Delaware, Delaware. Hello, hello, hello. Um, but it goes with, with, with what I was praying about this morning, what I was learning about, you know, <clears throat> but shout out Fresh Eyes, um, just lost his brother. So we want to pray for Fresh Eyes, AKA Will, my brother over there, um, praying for you, praying for you, praying for you. You just lost your granny and now you lost your brother, but I know the, I know a God, I know a God, you know what? I know a God who who will comfort you. He will be there for you. But I understand today, today's message is about the word, the D word, do, 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 the D words, D words, do, 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 the D words, but disappointment and discouragement, disappointment and discouragement, do, 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 D words. Now, let me tell you, Michelle, um, Michelle says, I mean, Val Baby gave you hearts to uh, fresh eyes. Michelle said, my condolences to you, Will, my brother Will, a.k.a. Fresh Eyes. Fresh Eyes. Fresh Eyes because he's a photographer and all that good stuff. But um, one of his multi multiple things that he does. But um, so the, 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 the D word, the D word, disappointment and discouragement. Understanding that the two are different the two the two words are different i thought they were the same so anyway i was going to um fresh eyes says aka will said thank you everyone but disappointment and discouragement and even when you're experiencing loss you can feel both disappointment is basically um you're disappointed in the situation it's, it's temporary discouragement is multiple things and you've allowed you it, it's multiple disappointments and and you've allowed it to kind of like discouragement discouragement so disappointment versus discouragement discouragement is temporary uh disappointed is you're losing hope or or you had some unrealistic ex expectations and it was something over time i had to study it right why because i could not understand my emotions this week and I haven't, throughout the years, I haven't dealt well with emotions because I hadn't quite understood all of my emotions. I'm going to just see if this hair is, is it me? The piece of hair is sticking up. But, um, so when I went to, uh, read my devotion, <clears throat> it said, do not be discouraged. Put all your hope in God. And I good, I got it. I understood what I was feeling. I'm feeling discouraged. And I know discouraged out of disappointment, this, this disappointment, you can get over. So I am disappointed, but I'm also discouraged and not discouraged in the fact that, uh, that I'm giving hope, giving up hope, but I'm discouraged because it's multiple things and, and I'm going to get over it. I have hope in God, but I'm a little discouraged because I had an unrealistic, unrealistic expectation. I clearly definitely had an unrealistic expectation and, and that's where the discouragement came from, but not I'm not discouraged with I don't have hope because I do have hope. My hope is built on nothing less than, than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I do, but I could not understand my feelings 
and my emotions. So I, I could not give it to God because I couldn't understand what I was going through. So the same way with uh, disappointment and, and discouragement. So we these words come up in the Bible and God want, shows you how to deal with them. And even with disappointment, he understood. He was disappointed when Lazarus, his Lazarus, Lazarus, his, um, oh man, I, LGR Mill Press says, thank you. I need this word. But La he was disappointed when his friend Lazarus died, even though Jesus could, um, cure Lazarus and, and, and wake him up from the dead. He was disappointed. So disappointment is something we feel. Discouragement is when we sit there without the hope and we have this unrealistic expectation. And I feel like sometimes me personally, I'm going, I'm going to speak to myself. Sometimes personally, I don't want to admit the, the feelings that are bad. Like I don't want to, I didn't. So discouragement is what I was feeling. Even though it's really a bit of disappointment, but discouragement, I really was. I had this unrealistic expectation, which, and, it, and it alters your mood, and it, and it robs you of time. Discouragement alters your mood and robs you of time. And that's how I understood that that's what I was dealing with, more so discouragement. I mean, more so in addition to disappointment. So these, but sometimes we, I personally, like I said, I have a hard time identifying what I was exactly feeling to even talk to God. I was like, I don't understand. I don't understand, but it definitely altered my mood. My mood, my mood was a little shaky all week. I didn't get a lot of work done because I just didn't feel like it. I just didn't feel like it because now I know I was feeling discouraged with a little bit of dis disappointment. Why not? Because it's nothing big. It's not even, it's not nothing huge. It's not nothing major. It's just, um, something out of my control so today would have been the day we were shooting single on a saturday night and the location called and canceled us i mean they could have done it last month like the end of last month they wait to the middle of the month to tell us something like this when i've already planned it I already got a guest and then the fact is this is this is the second time within a few months it was six months ago um we had to switch as well so i'm and then everybody asking you the the questions, what are you going to do? I don't know. And the fact that I don't know the answer was giving me pause. It was making me mad. It was, it was, it, you know, it was, it was, it was getting on my nerves. So I was getting discouraged and I was lo I losing hope. But the fact is God says he will to handle your discouragement with hope in him, giving it to him. He said, I understand you're going to feel this way, but give it to him. Actually understanding and identifying what it is and giving it to him without the feeling of he can't do it. So if it was a discouragement, it's unrealistic expectation. Yes, I expected something. I expected God to, um, I literally, I, I just got to be transparent. I expected God to make it work. I expected God to turn it around and make the location i guess what i was i was feeling something mean too i was thinking maybe if the person who did it and she just go, went to another location what you know i was just feeling the fact that i had an unrealistic expectation i expected god i i didn't i didn't even tell people that it was canceled until wednesday well you know i told a couple people but i didn't even tell people it was canceled until wednesday because i my expectation was it's no nah, no, nah, no, nah, God, you're going to make it, you're going to work it out. God, you, you're going to turn it around. What? She, she the girl going to have a change of heart and not be mean. That's what's going to happen. The girl's going to have it. So it was an unrealistic expectation and I could not identify my feelings and it's okay. And it's okay to under, not understand. But the more you seek the Lord, the more he'll give you the answer. The moment I opened up my Bible app, the YouVersion Bible, the moment I opened up the YouVersion Bible app, the answer was there. Do not feel discouraged because your hope is in God. He answered it. So even when we feel it, God will answer. He'll show you. He knew I didn't know what I was feeling. He knew I didn't know what I what what how to deal with what was going on. I had an unrealistic expectation. It was it was unrealistic. Not not saying that God can't do it, but my expectation was for the girl to move. And I could have just had a change of her to have a change of heart. I just was hoping she moved to a whole nother location and take herself somewhere else. So understanding that the feelings are real. 
and then giving it to God. Now that I know what the feelings are, now I can totally give it to God. I was, I was halfway saying, okay, God, but I really wasn't giving it to God. And even though you think it are here, we're here on prayer and yeah, you can, you can still be in the middle of seeking God every day, praying every day, uh, uh, reading your Bible every day and still have these moments where you just don't understand it and God can help you understand and it's okay. And I'm, I'm able to admit it. I'm okay with, um, admitting I don't have the answers. And I think that's the problem. I feel like I should have all the answers, but no, God has all the answers. And I people, when people keep coming to me saying, what's the answer? I don't have the answers. And it's okay when you don't have the answers. Because God is the answer. God is the answer to it all. And sometimes you gotta you gotta be grateful enough and, 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 and understand enough to just give it to God. I'm giving it to God and thank you for helping me understand God because He knows exactly what you need. So if you've ever been in that situation and you you feel like God doesn't understand, He does, He'll give you exactly what you need. Let me read this. Um Michelle said, It's okay, Shelly. Um give grace to yourself god will find an amazing place for you um yes yep um and and will aka fresh eyes says just a minor setback you're still blessed and, and no and the thing is i know you know thank you thank you so much i definitely know that it's minor i definitely know that it is but it was the emotions that i was feeling discouragement and disappointment and we do it's it's not it's it's not that is not, it's in the Bible, disappointment and discouragement. He knows, God knows we were going to feel this way, but it's what you do with it. I never, I didn't give up. I was still here every day. I was still praying every day. I was still reading my word every day. He knows that we were going to feel this way, but maybe as, as LGR Mill person, maybe this was for, for both of us. Maybe it was for both of us. But the fact is, I know we're going to get over it because we understand the feelings. Sometimes it starts with understanding the feelings, understanding where you are in that place. And it's okay to admit it. It is okay to admit where you are because we're admitting, first of all, I'm admitting it amongst friends. I'm admitting it amongst a prayer team and I'm admitting it, admitting it, admitting it, admitting it to God saying, I did not know what I was feeling. Yes, I was feeling um, a bit of dis disappointment and discouragement this week. Yes, I had an unrealistic expectation. Yes, God. And thank you, God, for showing me what it is so that I, so I can give it to you so that you can deal with it. So no, I don't have the answer, but God has the answer. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. My hope is built on God. Our hope, our hope is built on God, even when multiple disappointments come or multiple things come and, and, you, and it, but it robbed me, it robbed me of my time, it robbed me of my energy and my mood, it robbed me, but we know we serve a God who can give us the time right back. We can, he can give us the time right back. He, everything that we needed to get done, it can get done because we hope in God. So God, I thank you. God, I praise you. You are God, even, even when I don't know, even when I don't have the answers, even when God, I'm, I'm thankful that I can admit it to you, God. I'm thankful that I can admit it out loud that I don't have the answers and I am discouraged and I am disappointed, but God, I leave it. And if anybody else is, I leave it at the altar right now. I leave discouragement at the altar. I leave the disappointment at the altar. I leave the sadness at the altar. I leave, leave it all because there's things, people going through things that are different than me or, or worse. We can't say what's worse or better, but we know people are sad. They're, they're hurting. God, I pray for Will right now. I pray um, for fresh eyes, AKA Will. Um, I pray in the name of Jesus as he just as he just buried his granny now, now on now, um, dealing with the death of his brother, God, I pray. And I believe it was, it, it you know, unex definitely unexpected God, but I pray in the name of Jesus, God, comfort him and the family, comfort all the, that are around him, strengthen him for the journey. I know he's a man and, and everybody expecting him to have, uh, be so strong, and, but God, allow him the moment to cry. God, 
you said you bottle up all the tears and you're close to the broken hearted. So God, I know you are close to will right now because you're close to the broken hearted God. And you said, go ahead and cry. Crying is one of those things that it has been proven that when you cry, it relieves some things. When you cry, it, it, it helps you, it helps you break down some of the burdens. It gives you a, 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 a fresh eyes. It gives you fresh eyes with the crying. So I pray that he has a moment to cry and, and, and not feel the burden of not crying. I pray that you comfort him in, while he's crying. I pray that you comfort him while he's being the strong, the strong head of household, the strong man that he is, always taking care of everyone and everything. God, strengthen him for the journey. I pray for Will right now in the name of Jesus, God. Thank you for him being still kind, considerate, loving, God. Thank you for the way he handles things with grace the way he handles things with compassion, the way he handles things and keeps it moving, God. Thank you for his life, God. Um, I pray, thank you, God. And I know it, I already know that you are lifting whatever burden that is in the sadness, God, because your arms are wrapped right around Will right now. Um, thank you for what you're doing in his life and going to do, God. All his, all he's expecting in his life, God. We know that it's going to work out for, for, for the good because he loves you, God, and called according to your purpose. Thank you for a brother like Will. God, I pray in the name of Jesus, God, I give you all disappointment. I give you all discouragement. And all those, although both words are the, both D words are different. Both, both are different, God, but I give them to you, God. Help, them, help me to understand how to get over every part of disappointment. God, help me to get over any part of discouragement, God. God, I definitely give discouragement to you because that, that is built on not having hope in you. But I have hope in you. I've seen you do amazing things before. I've seen you. I've seen you do it, God. I've seen you uh, take something that looked bad and turn it into something miraculous. I've seen it, God. And I believe you'll do it again. God, help me to to decrease as you increase, God, because maybe I was thinking it was in my own power, but God, I know it's all in your power. I know you have something better. I, ha I know you have a better plan. I know that whatever happens, God, you are you already knew the plan beforehand. And I know that you're already working things out behind the scenes. I know that you could be saving us from something that could have happened today. I know that you are you are just working it out, God, and I trust you. God, I know I don't like to disappoint people. I know I like to show up and say and do and be everywhere I'm supposed to be. But God, maybe I have some unrealistic expectations of myself. I cannot do and be. And if, if I can't make it, if I can't do it, and if I don't have the answers, it's okay. I need to, I need to direct people to you, God, not to me, God, to you. God, I feel it and I understand and, the, and it's there. That's what I was living in this whole week. That's why my mood was shit. Forgive me for anybody who who I might have offended with, with, with whatever I'm saying. But God, I, I serve a God who forgives. I serve a God who understands. I serve a God who who uh, walks beside me and he's holding me up with his, with, he's holding us up. He's holding all of us up. He's holding us up. He is the, when the footprints in the sand as we're walking, he is the one holding us up. And that's why you only see one set of footprints because God is holding us up. It is not us. It is God. He's holding us up. Jesus is holding us up as we're walking through the sand. So we don't have to feel discouraged, disappointed, and we don't have to live like there's no hope. We have to say, God, you got it. And we got to believe, God, you got it. Thank you for understanding, God. Thank you for giving us what we need when we need it at the time we need it, God. Thank you. Thank you, God, for your grace and your mercy that is new every day. Thank you for your healing power. Thank you for, for, for comfort and will. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you. God, I have an attitude of gratitude because I know, I know it's all good. And thank you for this day off. And if that's what it just is, thank you for this day off, God. Help me to do what, what, it, what you will. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Lord, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. 
Oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. They're not just words, God, you are my strength and you're my redeemer, God. On this earth and throughout this earth, you are the strength and you're the redeemer of all things, God. Even, even when you're surrounded by people who may not understand what you're going through, even when you, and you think you should be understanding what I'm going through, but God, you understand, you have the answer. I was looking to the left and to the right and not looking straight ahead at you. Sometimes we all do this. We look to the left and to the right and not straight ahead. God, help us to look straight ahead and straight up to you. You are our redeemer. You are our, you are all that we need. God, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for, God, thank you for sending your son to live this life. And he's been through it all. He's been through everything we, we've been through, God. But he did it with such love and grace. He did it without hope. He did it with understanding that, oh, my father. Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. That young lady knew not what she did. She didn't know the power of you, God. She didn't know the power. And I don't have to do it in a mean way. I don't have to do it in a spiteful way. I don't have to do anything because vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. God, God, I get it. I get it. I get you. I, I love you, God. Thank you for your word, the word of God. God, the, the word of God. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. I pray in Jesus' name, thanking you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the uplifting. Thank you for the, the encouragement from everybody. Thank you for each and every person here. May you meet their individual needs, God. Individual needs. Everyone has a need and a thing. And maybe, maybe just like me, they were living in it and did not understand it. But God, you are a God who can meet their individual need. I shout out and I pray for LGR meal preps, God. She uh, didn't know exactly what was going on and needed this message. God, I pray for anybody who needed this message right now. And even 100%, even if it's just for the two of us, it's okay, God, because we have a prayer team that is amazing. 106 days god on this 106 day we continue to see your miracles working we continue to see your love we continue we continue to see your power we continue to see you working like never before so god i thank you and i praise you in jesus name amen 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 and amen amen let the church say amen flames 2012 said uh i see the sunflowers we got sunflowers oh match my yellow shirt sunflowers we love the sunflowers um fresh eyes says amen flames 2012 says amen um cancer slaying rv says amen um did i miss anything fresh eyes says amen i needed this and thank you oh thank you to everyone i think i messed up did i mess up did i mess up um LGR Mill Press says, yes, Lord, I need you. Amen. Yes, Lord, I need you. Amen. Yes, Lord, I need you. Amen. Absolutely. Um, Kansas Land RV and said, it's the, th it's the three of us. It's the three. You know, as, as God and you ask the Holy Spirit to guide it, I felt it was you, but, you know, God knows. God knows exactly what it is. He knows. He knows. He is right there. He is right there. He is right there. He understands. Um, and he got us. Uh, Sunny Noble Design says, in Jesus' name. Yes, indeed, in Jesus' name. Um, in Jesus' name. I see you. I see you. I see you. In Jesus' name. Yes, indeed. I'm make sure I didn't miss anything. Um, I think I got everything. Yep, yep, yep. We are here. Um, but in Jesus name, we, in Jesus name, in Jesus name, we got this. Sometimes it's just identifying what it is. And even when the time and the dis discouragement robs you of your time, we serve a God who will give you the time back. We serve a God that will give you exactly what you needed. I didn't know in the middle of all of this, my eyeball, my eyeball was messed up. But which gave me the time to rest, which I was able to tell the clients and the people that I work for, I can't do it like I used to do. I can't do it like I did last week. My eyeball hurts. So 
They gave me grace on that and I had mercy on that and I didn't have to do over and above because I'm an overachiever on everything. I didn't have to go above and beyond. It was I was given grace. And God gives us grace every single day. I was given grace. Grace. Grace, 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 grace. So have an amazing day. Whatever you're dealing with, sometimes we may not know exactly. And I'm and I'm I'm okay to admit that my emotions are never been one of those things I've dealt with very good. I've never been good with the whole emotions of understanding standing whatever emotions I am in. But I'm also and a, a lifetime learner, I will go to the word of God. I will go to his word. I will go, I will go study the difference between disappointment and discouragement. I will just study how God wants us to handle it. And the number one, one way he wants us to handle is first identify it. Second, give it to him. Give it to him. Tell him that what it is. This is what it is, specifically what it is, and let him deal with it the that way. And understanding that we, we don't do this without hope. We don't do this without without understanding that God will be working it out. It's in the Bible. It's all in the Bible. He gave you the Bible. So study, study to show thyself approved. A uh, workman, uh, you know, you know the words. So even when you don't think you know the words, the word of God, it comes back to you. He said, be not discouraged. Put all your hope in it. That was the scripture that came up. Right when I went into to, to Bible study, right when I went into Bible study today, it was be not discouraged. So I came on the 802 because I was 100% trying to, to, to study as much as I could. And I pray that, that you continue to study. I Googled it, the disappointment versus discouragement. How does God want you to deal with it? Then I went back to the word of God to, to understand it is a, it is a process and you can't say I'm, I, I want but don't, don't, you, I want you, Lord, but don't read his word every day. I want you to know what you're saying to me, Lord, but don't open up his, his, the, um, the instructions he gave you, the, uh, the, the instructions he gave you to, for living the Bible. The Bible is what he gave us to learn from him, to understand his characteristics, to understand how we are supposed to act and react in everyday life. And nope, you ain't none of us perfect. Nope. And that's me. Not under none of us perfect. I'm going to get things wrong, and it's okay, and it's okay to get things wrong and say, God, I got this wrong, but you got it right. What? Show me, show me the right way. We are not perfect. We are not perfect at by any means, but our God is perfect. He is perfect. He's perfect, and he's got the answer. We don't always have it. So, no, to everybody, I don't have the next, I don't know where the next place is. No, I don't know where we're going. No, I don't have the answer, and nor do I understand having to think about it. I'm not going to think about it. I'm just going to give it to God. First Lady Tweet says, morning blessings. Um, Sunny says, exactly, Jody says, right. So, I don't have the answer. God has the answer. So trust him. Have an amazing, whoop, have an amazing Saturday. Have an amazing Saturday. Blessings to you. Um, First Lady Tweet. Understanding the D word. Duh, 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 duh. Disappointment and discouragement. Two different things. But two di but two different things. But God, He already understands both. And He understands how to do it. Uh, Jody215 said, First Lady Tweet, good morning, good morning, good morning. Yes, good morning, everyone. A, uh, Michelle says, amen, have a blessed Saturday, everyone. Yes, have a blessed Saturday, everyone. Bless Saturday, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. And guess what? Because it is Saturday and because I don't have a show, maybe I need rest. Maybe I need rest. First thing she said, I am late. That's okay. That's okay. But understand that God got you, whether you're late or not. He, the prayer was already meet the needs of your people, and as He always does, He will meet the needs of His people. But it's Saturday, Saturday, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have an amazing Saturday. Um. First Lady Tree says, beautiful, blessed day to you, everyone. I, play, I pray that whatever you stand in need of, um, First Lady Tree, God got you. The answer is, seek ye first the kingdom of God. 
Seek ye first the kingdom of God. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. Yes, I will miss each and every one of my, my S-O-N family. Single one that said, I will miss every one of you. Everybody was planning to come. LaShawn was coming. Um, LaVita was coming. Everybody was coming. Everybody, and I, and I pray for whomever. Actually, there's going to be people show up that's going to show up there and it's going to be empty, which is which is the thing that bothered me the most, that people are going to show up and and we're not going to be there. And and I guess I think in my mind, they're going to blame me. But don't blame me. Blame blame the establishment. But God has a bigger plan. Matthew said, bless us, Shelly. Thank, thank God for this clarity and understanding. Fresh Eye says, me too. Me too. Me too. Um, uh, Fresh Eye says, sis, I'll call you later. Have a blessed day. You too have a blessed day. Will have a blessed day. Um, make it a great day. Whatever this day is, it's a God, God woke us up to see this day. He woke us up. He had us on the wake up list, right? So whatever happens today, whatever happens today, it is because it is God's plan, right? And it's his will and all things work together for the good who love God or are called according to his purpose. So it's good. It's a good day. It's a good day. Um, LGR Prep says, yes, me too. Let's have a good day. Let's have the amazing day. Let's go rest. Let's rest. It's our day. It's our day. Today is our day. Have a great day. Make it a great Saturday. LGR Mill Prep says, yes, yes, and yes. Yes, God. Yes, God. I see you, God. I see you. I see what you're doing. But um, Wild Tuna, Wild Tuna, the amazing Wild Tuna. Yes. How are you? Blessings. We at the end of our day 106. 106 prayers. 106 prayers. Kirk Franklin, today, today is a new day. I don't even know about today is a day. It's plenty of sunshine. Nothing but clouds in the skies, but it's all mine. Today's a new day. I don't know the rest of the words, but either way, I, I know today's a new day. Yes, God put you on the wake up list, so make the best of this day. <clears throat> Jody215 says, you too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Fresh Eye says, yes. 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 My soul says yes yes lord yes love from the bottom of my heart to the depths of my soul yes lord have mercy lord yes yes lord say yes to the lord all day seek ye first the kingdom of god yes yes my soul says yes peace out y'all i'm tripping now I love to sing. I will sing. That's what karaoke was made for. That's what karaoke was made for. The for the karaoke is the I think the definition of karaoke is singing off key. So that was me singing off key. Uh, Fresh Eyes said, "Time to come to the studio." Now I'm coming to the studio. I have a plan, but it ain't because I can sing. Because I definitely can't. <laughs> definitely can't. But. My soul says yes. God's soul says yes. You want a, you want a great getting up morning. You are here for a purpose. Living the purpose today. All right. Peace out, y'all. Love you. Love you much. See you tomorrow, 801. 801. Sorry for being late. Sorry for being tardy for the party today at 802. But it was necessary. It was 100% necessary. Necessary. Peace out, y'all. Peace. Tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Hey, YouTube. This is day three of my morning prayers for youtube day 106 on instagram live but i just wanted to address especially since the video cut off for whatever reason so i just wanted to say um wherever this goes in the world if ever it hits whatever um myron golden gave an amazing lesson this week about turning the camera on you're doing it anyway for 106 days i did ig live well right now i'm including youtube i'm including the world into the whole IG live family and, and things like that. But just, I pray 100% that, um, God is good. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. And I will see you tomorrow. 
I have for 100, 106 days I've showed up. Now I can always, I, I pray that I'll always be able to turn on the camera, an additional camera. But if I don't, um, I'll just post the prayer from IG Live. But thank you so much for, for being obedient to God and showing up for prayer um, all over the world.